What's up guys, DC1983. Uh, sorry, I was just having a conversation with some of the guys on Skype. But anyways, uh, let's get into it really quick. Uh, as usual, I'm your host DC for PLG. Alright, so something I want to talk about is digital distribution and cloud gaming. Next generation, is, digital, is cloud gaming digital distribution going to be a big thing? Is it going to implement on consoles? Is it going to be like the go-to thing for next generation. I understand that right now cloud gaming is big, but at the same time, cloud gaming is bad at the same time. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think that cloud gaming is great, like places like online and all that other stuff. With next gen around the corner, if, you, if cloud gaming goes big, it's going to cause a lot of issue. Buying a brand new console would be kind of pointless. And I'll get into that really quick uh, in, in a few minutes. So now digital distribution is around, and I understand that there are two different things. One is basically you don't need to download a thing, everything is over the air. While the other is digital distribution. You download your games, no physical copies, everything downloaded to your actual hard drive. Which then means, now, in a way, both of this actually helps. Cloud gaming and digital distribution helps in the long run for storage drives. And reason being for cloud gaming is because if everyone starts going into cloud gaming, the need for hard drives and SSD drives are not needed anymore. They're not as big or as important as they were in the long run. Now, everyone downloading games were now more storage spaces needed so they could charge an arm and a leg. With cloud gaming, while gaming is a large proportion of the society today as social networking, gaming is uh, the one, one of the big things out there that, so, that takes up social life, social life, social gaming, social media, social networking, all of that. Now, being that cloud gaming is going to be big and cloud gaming is already here, like places like Unlive and, you know, like, uh, what is it, On Demand, uh, uh, what's it called, Netflix does it. It's, uh, it's not cloud gaming, but it's cloud storage or cloud distribution or cloud streaming. So now, if you've never been a part of, uh, well, let me get into it. Now, with, with cloud gaming, if, if cloud gaming gets as big as it is and gaming, like uh, Microsoft and Sony already started buying up, a crap load or a buttload of uh, online storage for cloud gaming and they have tons of storage and all this other stuff and Nintendo's even getting into it too where they're doing cloud save cloud saving with uh, games like uh, Fi uh, uh, what do you call it um what is it what is it damn I forgot the name of the game but well, I remember in a few minutes um, Dragon Quest uh, Dragon Quest MMO online so being that they're gonna be using cloud storage on that so you can play from system to system or we we to Wii U and all that other good stuff, that's, that means everyone's kind of like starting to stare to it. Now, the reason why I'm saying that, if it gets that big, that means the need for hard drives are less. Store, uh, SSD drives, which are expensive, becomes not needed as much anymore. But now, but also, gaming is not the only thing for actual storage for, uh, what do you call it, for PCs. There are movies, there are guys that recreate movies, and all this other stuff, loading windows a lot faster. So at the same time, SSD drives will still be needed, but gaming takes up a lot of space, along with movie editing and a lot of other stuff. Digital distribution, on the other hand, being that digital distribution is so big, while digital distribution is so big and downloading games with now 1080p gaming and full, uh, what is it, uh, 2024 and all the other stuff, large portions of what coming in the next few generations to come, with hard drives and leaping in bounds of how much these games are, 50 gig games, 25 gig games, uh, downloads and all types of other stuff just continuously like rising and building up the amount of downloads and how much storage space we need. SSD drives, which are really great for gaming, load times is like that, so quick. SSDs at the same time, it's a good thing. I mean, uh, digital distribution is a good thing. Using up so much data because games are starting to use up so much information, so much resources, being that games have to now be on Blu-ray instead of DVDs in order to get the quality you need. Now, as is, now digital distribution is important, so is uh, cloud gaming. Now, the problem with cloud gaming is, um, I have an article here, um, which is extremely important. You guys should like, uh, 
Definitely listen to it. Let me open it up really quick. Let me stop that before it starts playing noise. Okay, <clears throat> I'll also post this in the description too so you guys can check it out. Uh, the future of cloud gaming is still cloudy is the name of the article. I'm not going to read all of it. I'm going to read a few of the things. They're saying that um, cloud gaming is important. It, uh, it opens a broad, uh, broad communication for gaming and for gamers themselves by streaming gaming content and games uh, via cloud gaming. <clears throat> Whether a fat client or a thin client approaches the often acts... Uh, how to define cloud gaming, uh, very broad uh, terms being used to define multi-use uh, multi cases. Okay, whatever. All right, so it goes into another part where it starts saying delivering uh, games to users is the issue now um, in today's market. The reason being is that cloud gaming is going to use tons and tons of storage. Now you're not buying a physical game, you're just subscribing to a, a network or a company that's distributing this cloud storage. Now this now well not cloud storage this cloud gaming. Now with that being said, you need to have great internet connection for for digital and cloud gaming. So now with cloud gaming using tons and tons of like everyone's gonna have to have fast internet, and with more fast internet, the more uh, the more people jumping on the internet to do cloud gaming clogs up lines. Then now phone lines, cable lines start to jack up in price in price because they need more internet connectivity because not a lot of gamers game online but with cloud gaming is a lot of information being transferred through which also now leads to uh, this part here uh, it says um, it's different user experience my movies where a user can quickly easily watch a clip on uh, demand da, 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 determine rent. okay here's the part where it says the process is not easy with gaming software basically transferring the environment information uh, <clears throat> different connected, different connected, connected, different connected. Okay, different connected devices environment. This process is not easy uh, with uh, game software since porting code is much more involved and costly. Uh, it may, it may, <clears throat> it may not even port to certain devices due to processing, GPU, or memory constraints. Now. Being that the new Xbox 720 and PS4 are coming out and the Wii U's here, being that they have more powerful hardware than the last generation. Now, with that being said, going with a more powerful unit while cloud gaming is here, transferring and, and distributing the environment and uh, the, the power of those full 1080p 60 frames a second games, native 1080p that is, to consoles via internet, kills your video quality. So now, buying a brand new system to get great quality in gaming is now an answer towards your internet connectivity. While I can get 1080p gaming through um, on live with this, and it's still not great, but you can still get all of that, but it's not great, and it all determines on your internet connectivity, your connection speed, your download, your upload speeds, all of that comes into a very now. So if you have slow internet, your games on cloud gaming is going to look like PS2, PS3, and nothing better with next-gen gaming. Now, next-gen gaming with digital distribution, being that content and environment and textures and codes already downloaded into the actual system, digital distributed games gives you a better variety of gaming. But now, here's the issue with game with consoles like the Wii U. Now, being that the Wii U uses a uh, it only has 32 gigs, it could change. Sony, I mean Nintendo, later on the line could throw out something amazing and use up a lot more internet, a lot more uh, give you more hard drive space. Now you have to go out and buy an actual HDD, and if you buy a non-powered AC uh, HDD, game quality and load time is also bad. Also, with cloud gaming, load time is terrible. Between uh, now, we'll understand what what cloud gaming is is basically. I have a server, I have games on it, and I give you a patch or an OK or a username to get into that in order to play the game. Basically, me giving you a source code to, in order to play the game via remotely. So that's what cloud gaming is, and if your connectivity is not up to par with it, it causes an issue. Now with digital distribution, you have the game already downloaded. The only problem is digital hard drive, I mean actual hard drive space, SSD space, storage space however you want to call it, in-game downloads and all the other stuff. Now you have to wait to download the game, but the game quality is great. You get the full next-gen and even faster load times. <laughs> 
Now you get the faster load times because it's already stored instead of reading off of a disk itself and SSD loads like that. So now the question is for you is where do you see next gen gaming with the issues that I just basically brought to your attention with digital distribution and with cloud gaming, how is, where is next gen going to be? Is next gen gaming going to stick with digital distribution, which they're at now, and mainly disc, or they're going to do cloud, is, and mainly cloud in the next few years, which means they have to speed up internet connectivity, which means they'd have to have faster broad and faster open servers in order to transfer information. And being now that there's gonna be millions upon millions of people streaming instead of what's on online which is now close to what the billions of people that are that are that play games are where is cloud i'm sorry guys where is next gen gaming going to be now again this is dc193 thank you for the conversation uh leave in the comment sections tell me what you guys think always like subscribe and comment people peace